Alrighty, YouTube, so this is way different than the usual stuff that I, I've posted. Uh, but I have a uh, ProLiant DL380G7, and I'm trying to raid the three drives that I have in here. Um, yeah, <laughs> to my normal viewers, this is probably as, as, as technical... Actually, this is probably the most technical video I threw out here, because, I mean, at first it's like, hey, PS uh, PlayStation controllers and stuff. Alright, so uh, what I found out, though, is uh, what you want to do is actually continue to press F8 and bug the hell out of it while it's doing its power and thermal calibration because um, you can't get into the RAID menu for this otherwise. It'll give a distinct beep when it actually detects the F8, but I just want to make sure because I'm not 100% sure where or when it does it. There we go. When it does that, it's going to put you in IL ILO mode. Yeah, I'm just continuing to press it. Uh, lights, it's like integrated lights out. And what you do is you go down and you exit, right? And then you wait because in a few seconds it should throw up the raid thingy and tell me to press a button. Uh, raid, raid, raid. I think it's eight, escape. Uh, let's see, control S. That wasn't it. <laughs> Uh, I missed it. Preboot execution. Preboot execution. Yeah, I missed it. Shoot. Um, Alright, let's try again. So, wait for it to go through the power management test stuff. Hold F8. Uh, attempting to boot from CD-ROM. Nothing's in it. Hopefully this works out. And it doesn't try to boot into it. Of course it did. Um, what am I supposed to do here? Alright, let's just cut this off. One-handing this. Alright, turn it back on. <sighs> Jeez, what a drag. So, this has been like an all-day thing. This is the only information I found on it. Um... Come on, come on. Boot up. Service take forever. Hmm. All right, here we go. So it's boots. We're trying to get to raid. Because <clears throat> I'm going to try to put two of these drives in raid one and keep the other one hot swappable in case something happens. So we're going to do this again. Let it go through its uh, power and thermal calibration. Or whatever. All right. F8. F8. Got it. Okay. F8 again. Couple more times. Do do. There we go. All right. Exit. Yes. And now I got to be careful and find out what this key was. I think it was one of these F keys. F8. Aha! There we go. Alright. Um, so, we're at... Uh, let's try to see if we can create a drive. Escape. Let's see what we got. Oh. We do have a RAID 1. Yeah. Well, it actually looks like a RAID 5. That's not what we want. Hey, just a sec. Let's delete the drive. And we'll set it up as a RAID 1. Do it that way. Use the test patterns that you might need. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, we're back. So, uh, now that we made it in, we have it apparently RAID 5, but like I said, I'd rather, I'd rather nuke, two, nuke two of those drives, use uh, these two of them, and then just keep that third one as a uh, striped drive. 
So we're gonna delete everything here. All right, nuke this. I was, I hate how quick that is. All right, create a drive, and we'll do. No, 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 no. This third one. If I wanna tab. Let's see, shift tab. How do you deselect it? There you go. All right, so we're gonna do, we'll do one, we'll leave three, three by itself, and then we'll do a raid one. Fault tolerance, let me see. What is this, use one drive as a spare. Raid zero, fault tolerance. Let's try that again. Shift tab. Uh, deselect this one. Keep that there. Select that as a spare drive. Um, and I think that's it. Now we just hit enter. So 600, raid 1, 1 plus 0 is fault tolerance. Let, let's go back and check a look. Take a look. Um, hmm. So, select that. Hmm. Spare drive. Hmm. All right, cool. All right, I guess I guess that's what we'll do. So we got it in RAID 1, so this will be, this will copy this, this will be the spare drive if shit goes bad. Um, I think the save config, alright, saving configuration, done, and cache settings, don't need that, I got license keys, alright, cool means. Now I have nothing on here, which is great. And uh, yeah, that's how you put the, uh, let me see, get this back up here, ProLiant DL380G7 in RAID 1. Done.